hi guys welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i made these delicious fried green bananas please continue watching this video Hi guys, today I'll be preparing fried green bananas. Normally people use plantains, but today I'll be using bananas instead. Here I have some green bananas. These particular bananas are called hog bananas, and this is what I'll be using today. You can also use green plantain for this recipe. However, I had these green bananas, so this is what I'm using instead. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to peel your green bananas or plantains if you're using plantains. You're going to peel the skin off. Personally, I hate peeling bananas, plantains. I just think it's difficult. It's easy for a lot of people, but for me, it's not my most favorite thing to do. So... This is how you have to peel your banana or plantain. You also have to cut off any of the little skins that's left over after you're done peeling. You just wanna make sure that there's none of the green parts left. So once all of the bananas are done, I'm going to wash them off and then I'm gonna cut them up. There are many different ways you can cut them. Some people cut it into squares, um, rectangles, sorry. However, I like to cut mine up into circles. That way I can have a better control of them when they're frying. I apologize about the angle of this particular clip. However, here I am now, I'm just adding some water to the container that I had the green bananas cut up and placed into. I'm going to fill the container up with some water. Um, that way the plantain bananas sorry, won't change color and they will sit in this water for a few minutes. So once you've added the water, now you're going to add some salt. You're gonna add a good amount of salt. Yes, it may seem like it's a lot of salt, but you won't really taste it on the plant. Bananas, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so used to using plantains that I keep saying plantains instead of bananas. I apologize. But like I was saying, it may seem like it was a lot of salt that I poured into the container, but you won't be able to taste it once the banana has been fried. So don't be alarmed by the amount of salt I used. So once you had added the salt, you would have allowed the bananas to sit in the water and salt for about 15 minutes just to soak up a bit of the saltiness. And then now you're gonna begin frying your green bananas. Here I have a pot that's already been on the stove. The oil is already hot. And now I'm gonna begin frying the green bananas so what you would want to do is you want to remove the green bananas from the water you're going to put it on a piece of paper towel and then you're going to try and damp and dry it off you want to fry these dry or else if they're still wet when you put them inside of the pot the oil will pop up and you may get burned so it's best to try to dry them as much as you can before you place them into the pot of hot oil. So here I am placing the green bananas into the oil. I'm drying the next one. And this is what I'm gonna do to all of them before I put them into the pot. So now I have a few of the green bananas in the pot already that have been frying. So here you can see I'm turning them, moving them around 
because I don't want them to get burnt but I want them to have a slightly brown color not too brown because they're gonna fry again for a second time so you just want to get them lightly brown and you will fry them for about three to five minutes so once they have been frying for about three to five minutes and they're lightly brown I'm not gonna remove them from the oil and I'm going to put them into a pan that way some of the oil can drain off so you can see now in this clip that I'm removing the green bananas that have fried slightly for about three to five minutes <music> So now it's time to press the green bananas. As you can see, I have the skin that I used earlier. I'm gonna put the half fried green banana inside of the skin. And then I am going to use the top part of the skin and I am going to use it to press the banana into a flat shape. As you can see here, it's really hot guys so be careful when you're taking it out and then you're gonna put that back inside of the oil and fry it again for a second time you put them to fry for the second time you want to pay very close attention because they will start to brown very quickly so for this step you probably only need to fry them for about two minutes in cooking there are many ways and methods to do things this is my second batch of green bananas I'm now going to show you a second method of how to press your green bananas are plantains. This way is particularly my favorite way to do it. This is the method that I use. I'm going to use a can to press down the green plantain or banana. The can has already been washed in soap and water prior to me recording and it has been dried off. So now I'm gonna use this can to press down the green bananas. And it usually gives it a circular shape which I like to see and I'm also going to dip it into the salt water because that will make it have a little salty taste if you prefer to taste a little bit of the salty flavor you're not going to leave it in the water long you're just going to dip it inside of the water for about two seconds and then you're going to dry it with a paper towel you're going to pat it down with a paper towel to get out as much of the water as you can and then you're going to place it into the pan again to fry so here i am showing you the step again with the technique that i like to use the can and you're going to i was showing and saying that the can was dirty because i had i had already fried press one prior so that's why you're seeing the residue from the first banana that I pressed so you're going to dip it in the water for about two seconds and you're going to remove it and then you're going to dry it inside of the paper towel as best as you can and then you're going to place it inside of the frying pan and you're going to get it all nicely fried they might break apart but that's okay i'm going to continue the process over and over until i'm done frying all of my green bananas and when i'm done the next clip that you will see will be the finished product of my green plantains I'm sorry guys green bananas also 
Another name for this is called Tostones. That's mainly what they call it in Spanish-speaking countries. In the Caribbean, it's known as fried green plantains. Here, guys, we have the final product. These are looking so golden and delicious. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have never tried these before, I hope that you try making them. They are extremely delicious. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!